Well, again, St. John's family and friends, this is Pastor Brady, and this is our announcement time together for Friday, April 2nd, 2021. Why well, I come to you today on this solemn day, on this day of reflection, on this Good Friday, so good because of what God has done for us, because of the sacrifice of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I want to remind you, you can join us this evening for our Good Friday Vigil here in the sanctuary at 7 o'clock, or you can join us online on our Facebook page as well, and later on our YouTube page and in the email link. I do remind those that attend in person this evening, please enter the sanctuary in silence and in prayer. This evening, we will look to the word of the Lord. We will look to the last words of the Lord spoken at the cross of Calvary, spoken at that place called Golgotha, the place of the skull. This evening, we will take time to remember and reflect the price that was paid for the salvation of all. And as we head into this weekend together, today is a day where we reflect and remember, but we know there are days directly ahead this weekend where we are going to celebrate what God has done as well. So I remind you tomorrow, Saturday, Holy Saturday, at noon, we will be having our Easter egg hunt and also our special lunch at noon. That all takes place at noon in the backyard of the church. Um, the kids are going to hunt the eggs. There's going to be a pinata swing. Um, there's going to be a special visit from a certain rabbit. And also there's going to be great homemade food. Um, it's for all ages, so adults, stop by if you want to get a great homemade lunch, and we'll even have it prepared and ready to go. It's going to be in the mid-50s tomorrow and sunny, so if you want to stay and fellowship, that would be great as well. It's at the backyard of the church. Um, you can park out back across the street in the parking garage and come join the fun tomorrow at noon here at St. John's. And then, of course, on Sunday, Resurrection Day, we will celebrate the rise out of the darkness of today and into that light eternal as Jesus conquered death and so we too can conquer death. We're going to celebrate on Resurrection Day. Whether you join us here in the sanctuary, you celebrate with us from afar, we, we remind you that we have Sunday school available in person at 9 a.m., online Sunday school streams at 9.20. We're going to have a praise and worship, some contemporary um, songs that remind us about the risen Christ at 10 a.m. And then at 10.30 a.m., we will have holy worship and a resurrection celebration together. Our bell choir and adult choir are going to perform, and they haven't done so for so long. Um, it will be wonderful to have that music once again. We're going to take holy communion together. We're going to hear the scripture about the empty tomb and the risen Lord, and we're going to find true fulfillment in Jesus Christ this Sunday together at our 10.30 a.m. worship time. And I want to remind you of all those resources. If you're still at home, not able to attend in person, uh, you can watch online um, at 10.30 a.m. You can watch the worship service this evening again, the Good Friday service, and also online Sunday school at 9.20 a.m. on this Sunday morning. And that streams live on Facebook, but is later and soon after posted to St. John's YouTube page, St. John's UCC of Bedford, and then sent out via the uh, email link. A YouTube link is sent an email link to everyone that's part of the church email group. So if you want to be a part of that church email link, just call into the church office. I remind you also, we have all those resources right in the church office entryway, uh, upper room devotionals, paper bulletins, and forms. Um, of course, we have elements for Holy Communion. Um, we also have DVDs for those that can't watch online and still cannot return to in-person. We are making DVDs of our worship services. Just let the office know and we'll get a DVD ready and we can even deliver those. So this Sunday, we are going to celebrate the Lord and, and we need to feel his power in our lives starting right now. You know, right now at this moment, on this Good Friday, let's welcome him into our hearts. Let's reflect upon what he has done. Let us prepare to go to the cross with him and then celebrate the empty tomb and true fulfillment. And before I leave you, I want to uh, give you the birthdays and anniversaries for our church family this week. 
be sure to send well wishes to the names that are listed. If you're not on the list, let the office know so we can put you on our birthday and anniversary calendar. Well, starting today, Good Friday, uh, Max S. has a birthday, and also Judy W. And then looking ahead to Easter Sunday, uh, Fina S. has a birthday, and Robert L. has a birthday. On Monday the 5th, uh, Sarah S. has a birthday. On Tuesday the 6th, Susie B. has a birthday. On Wednesday the 7th, Sadie L. and Ruth C. have birthdays. And then on next Thursday, the 8th, Bob D. and Sean K. have birthdays. So happy birthday to all those that are celebrating this week. And I hope you all will join me here in a little bit for our Friday, Good Friday, Inspiration Time together. May God bless this holy weekend. May God bless you. Amen.